Hello, welcome to the Telecom Infrastructure Forum on 5G. And we're right here at uh, the Sheraton Hotels. It's an industry event and uh, we have uh, all of the stakeholders that are available here. One of the best things that happened here was the announcement by Coleman uh, Cables that they have started to produce uh, optical fiber locally. That's one of the best news of what happened today. And I would uh, kind of uh, uh, do this as a word of encouragement to the organizers that they should do a lot more in publicity. Today has been an excellent day. That's my position. Um, the thing is this, 5G needs a lot of things for the deployment and one of the key components of 5G is optical fiber. Um, I cannot say much about that because um, the mobile operators will be the one that will be able to say more about this. But um, what I can say is that if they're not going to deploy all countrywide, they can deploy uh, in z various sections of the country. I'm um, um, engineer Dr. Chidi Diugu. I work in NCC as the head of new technology assessment. You know, yeah. How would you describe this event so far? I, I see it as a very relevant step forward in um, introducing the emerging 5G technology. So, simply because it's able to bring you know, stakeholders together to look at the essentials you know, as far as this technology is concerned. Infrastructure can be classified as you know, human, human infrastructure and then of course we are discussing about having the, the, the material infrastructure in terms of building out you know, fiber, you know, towers and then uh, having to connect all the, all the, all the, all the uh, BT side together, which in any case is very um, capital intensive because right now we are talking about having to increase the number of base stations per square kilometers or in terms of a per geographical region in order to have improved connectivity. This will also demand um, having to have you know, more um, optic fiber cables to really link up with the, with the you know, base stations. And the, the issue of um, whether uh, the operating companies are ready is very important. It's an important question. And I think that they are ready because they have always known that technology will evolve. And from what we see from the regulatory point of view, you know, they are quite exposed. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, they have got international um, exposures. And to that extent, you know, they know the implications of having to rule out networks that are conformal to 5G technology. Finally, the, the regulator of the has been commended, you know, for the role it has played so far in the industry. Uh, how does this come to you? The NCC is very happy with the commendation, but at the same time, it's also very challenged. So we are happy that we are being commended, but that also, you know, makes us to know that we need to do more. You know, with the expansion of the industry, I mean, with the expansion of applications, you know, so you're talking about virtual reality, autonomous systems, and then, uh, you know, Internet of Things, you know, um, artificial intelligence, and then big data, and then so on and so forth. This is, this is going to require, you know, new regulatory regime. So there is, we're not going to operate with the legacy, you know, uh, regulations and guidelines. So we need to come up with new guidelines and regulations that will reflect the, the, the need of the technology. And then also some ethical issues, you know, it will be to address some societal issues, you know, in general. So, so yes, we are happy and grateful for the commendation. But at the same time, we know that, you know, we are also being challenged to do more than we are already doing. Yeah. Thank you indeed. Thank you so very much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. My name is Captain Ibinabo Solomon. I work with the NCAA, that's the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, the event was uh, a proactive measure 
regarding the uh, deployment of 5G communications network and how it impacted or how it is going to impact on the uh, air transport. What was the focus of your presentation? The focus of my presentation was actually the safety aspects of air transport in, an, in a 5G environment and how if 5G deployment was not properly mitigated and how it could affect the safety of uh, commercial air transport. How, does it, how do you think 5G can affect commercial? Um, it can affect commercial uh, aircraft operations by way of interference of signals because 5G is based on microwave uh, uh, electronic magnetic waves and if it is deployed in a manner that it, it interferes with the uh, protected frequencies for radio altimeters, that can actually be disastrous if not well managed. Okay, going go, go forward, what do you think the, what's your message to the industry? Um, my message to especially the NCC, which they have actually done very well off, is to make sure that they do not auction any licenses that will encroach on that protected range of 4.2 gigahertz to 4.4 gigahertz that the radio altimeters use in aircraft. Thank you, Edith. You're welcome. Thank you. How would you describe this event today? Oh, it's been very informative, very enlightening. I think it's it's a platform where all the various industry stakeholders have been able to come together, discuss, look at their problems, look at the the way forward, the peculiar challenges to to each stakeholder, and possibly looking at ways where the regulators and and the government itself can support in remedying these situations and also bring forward development to our nation. What was the focus of your presentation? The focus of mine was basically the local content aspect uh, support to the 5G network. Uh, Coleman Wires and Cables has been in business of uh, cable and wire manufacturing since 1975 and uh, we are currently building the first and only uh, fiber optic cable plant in West Central and East Africa. Um, every network, every fiber network, every network, uh, telecoms network is built on a fiber grid. Uh, to be able to, d to use 5G or deploy 5G across the nation, you need to be able to provide the infrastructure which is the fiber. The raw fiber is currently not produced in Nigeria. Coleman is the first uh, to provide that material. In, in country and uh, we believe that will foster and also support uh, the infrastructure companies, the telecoms companies to provide better service to our people. Oh, 5G is, is here to stay. It's technology beyond what you and I can imagine. It's the technology behind driverless cars, uh, pilotless planes, um, people doing surgeries in one country or the doctor or the surgeon is in another country. There are many examples that we can use. It's technology that will enhance our daily living. So it's, it's here to stay. It's something that is already obtainable in the West, but uh, Nigeria cannot be left behind. Um, so we have to position ourselves infrastructurally. We have to position ourselves uh, policy wise and uh, to be able to ensure that we take full advantages of this technology that's available today. Currently we do not, um, frankly speaking, but uh, as they say, you don't need to roam, <laughs> it's not, I mean, you take, you take one step first. And, and I think this uh, event is a step in the right direction, it raises awareness of the technology and also enables us to start thinking of, okay, where are the deficits, what can we do 
to further improve um, the infrastructure that as it exists or as it subsists and how do we bring it forward so it gets us thinking about it um, we have already taken a bold step we've invested over 50 million dollars in a plant that is going to provide the fiber for this uh, network so that's one thing one major aspect of it because most of those networks are built on this fiber so if we've got 60 percent of what we need for the the infrastructure to support 5g i think we've gone we've gone some way in uh, localizing the technology and deploying it so um and that's what ultimately uh, the we coleman and in partnership with the government are trying to ensure that okay we take full advantage of this technology yeah what ways do you think coleman has contributed to the growth of the Nigerian economy oh coleman continuously um pioneers um cable and wire development in nigeria we are the first to produce high voltage cables which is what our national grid is based on um, we are the first to provide something as simple as tv cables we're the only producer in nigeria which supports your dstv infrastructure we're the first to provide um cat 5 cat 6 telecommunication cable where we still remain the only ones that is also the cable that has now been replaced by fiber um, but it is still used in in um, all developments um, so we're the only ones producing that and now we're pioneering fiber technology so um, Coleman um, vision is to be a one-stop shop to provide all our cable and wire needs in country um, we're also the first and the only producers of marine cable so now all the oil uh, and floating platforms we can produce all the cables required for them in that industry in country so um, it enables nigeria to actively pray play in in fields where otherwise we would have been you know non-active um, local content drive by the by people like uh, NCC, NCDMB, um, localizing production gives us policy support to be able to support our investments to continue to justify to our board that it's we're moving in the right direction because technology taking advantage of technology will stand us in good stead in nation development and nation building and capacity building locally as well. That is how is being at the Telecom Infrastructure Forum on 5G. Reach us on the numbers and email now showing on your screen. I'm Don Pedro Agambi. I'll see you next time.